Kathy, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Good. We're recording. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody. One has to be careful with it. <laughs> um, linen and Scraps. This Kathy. is Kathy and Molly. Molly. Together, this is a, a floss tube, a YouTube mm -hmm. video mostly about cross stitching. I feel like I've never done one before. It's I know. So I'm like all nervous again. I am. It's like newbie. <laughs> I got newbie. I'm so like, oh, what am I going to say? Do I need notes? Oh, and, I got to bring that. And Kathy asked me if I had anything. I said, I got a few things. I got a few things. I've got a few things. I got a few um, things. And most of all, we're missing y'all. And I love seeing what y'all are up to. Love your it's, comments. I know. The comments are wonderful. Funny as I'll get out some of them. And I appreciate those of, uh, Kathy, I'm looking at you and trying to look at them at the same time. Those of you who made suggestions of for, uh, what I might could make for the uh, little gifts I need to make, I appreciate y'all answering that. I've got some ideas. Okay. So, Kathy, are you ready to get started with this? I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. I am ready. I'm ready. And I don't know what I did with my phone, so... I it's gone. It. I mean, it's gone. Not even I might, I might keep it if I find it. Um, <laughs> now I want to back up and just say, kind of a, a you know, like most law stupers do. First, thank y'all for coming back. Yes. Uh, we didn't say the date. Oh, it's Sunday. The uh, <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I'll have to look. <laughs> Kathy, what? I think it's the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. If that's a Sunday, so it's Sunday, July twenty eighth. Okay. And uh, thank y'all so much for watching and those of you who comment and subscribe thank you very much and then we'll do a little bit of a life update yeah and ramble on for a minute so if you don't like just been ramble, a while speed just, up. yeah speed it up okay so kathy what's been happening in your life fun um well there's always a story so i, I kind of turned into a little bit of a karen which that is like never me never, I don't know about never so but anyway <laughs> there's always a story so a week ago Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now my mailbox key giving me a little bit of a difficult situation where I mm -hmm. couldn't always turn it. You know, put some WD on the key before we get in. Well, finally it doesn't open at all. Mm -hmm. So we go Saturday. My husband stalked the mailman and said, "Hey, by the way, can you check our mailbox? Yada, it doesn't work." And very kindly, the nice kid, he said, "You know what? I'll just bring your mail to your house." Okay, and he said in the meantime, he said, I'll put in a work order. All right, so Monday, my husband, given the guy he is, just to make sure, he went over to the post office and gave him the same information. Mm -hmm. No mail uh, Monday, no mail Tuesday, no mail Wednesday. Now, mind you, he told me he's going to deliver it to my house. Mm -hmm. My husband bought me a beautiful birthday gift that I had a sign for, mm -hmm. which, okay, they have been known to not go to your front door with the pink slip but just put the pink slip in the box that says mm -hmm. you need to go to the post office mm -hmm. and at the end of the day i thought great if he's put the pink slip in the mailbox i can't still get into my mailbox mm -hmm. so another day goes by no mail and now my etsy order and my ebay order and i don't even know what else i had it says deliver to where Mm -hmm. Not, you know, probably my box, but at the end of the day, you know, I didn't have anything. So Friday, I could tell by there not being any key, the keys were out there. So when someone gets a bigger package, the key to get the bigger package out of the bottom box is in the bottom box. Well, I could tell the postman was already there because there aren't any keys sticking out. That means he's been there and all the keys are inside the numerous boxes. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. He never comes at the same time. So now I'm ticked, to say the least. And I thought, I said to my husband, and he's like, just, I said, I'm going over to the post office. I'm not going to sit in this heated garage by the sun and wait for the postman to come. I went over to the post office, gave him the whole story. I said, I'd have been fine if he just said, you're going to have to come and pick up your mail. Fine. Then I know to do that. But now I know stuff's being delivered, but not to me. Mm -hmm. It's in my box. Mm -hmm. that I can't get into, that I haven't gotten into mm -hmm. for a whole week. And now I have to sign for something. I said, so... And the thing you needed to sign for should have been, a, there should have been a delivery attempt at your house. Yes, but they but have been known to not attempt the delivery they just at the stick house. The they thing. just stick the oh, note okay. in the box. Okay. Like, we tried, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, she, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so anyway, anyway um, as it turns out, the work order, I don't know if the work order was ever put in or not, but at the end of the day, 
he reached the postman at the post office reached out to the gentleman who delivers my mail on his route and he said I'm on my way I'll be there in an hour and a half I'll change the lock out myself because otherwise it takes two to three months that's what I heard to get which took him all of maybe three minutes mm -hmm. to do this lock so does this mean you have haul to show is I have a little bit of haul okay. I have I gave I was really nice to him I brought out a nice cold icy mineral water for him and I said I really appreciate you doing this um, he handed me all my stuff <laughs> all my stuff and it was fine it's just I, I guess it was just kind of the lack of communication that mm -hmm. kind of got under my nerves a little under my skin and it's just for a whole week especially when someone tells you they're going to deliver it uh -huh. I'm kind of one of those persons I take people literally if you're going to say or send me something or do something for me or you're coming you're going I my expectation is that you do that uh -huh. because that's what I do mm -hmm. if I say I'm going to give you something or bring you something or take you something I'm let's gonna, test that theory what are, gonna, what are you going to give me Kathy <laughs> I'm going to do it <laughs> surprise it. surprise so uh -huh. I have my all my stuff and my like I said Yay. you know it was a little bit of a nice birthday present for my husband and, and I was like oh. was it stitchy related no oh okay it was nice jewelry related oh so even better huh? yeah even better. um so, so that was good been doing a little swimming in the pool mm -hmm. uh, a couple couple mornings Saturday morning babysits mm -hmm. with the kids and in, in volleyball but um, otherwise okay so not that I'm not the fastest thing on the track here but uh, so when was your birthday Oh, the night was the nineteenth. Really? Yeah, I'm a whole year older. I hate it. I don't tell too many people that's my birthday. But you anymore. would think I would know. I got to write this down. Um, it's July nineteenth. Speaking of which, I did get a couple of really nice birthday cards from some viewers. I want to thank you for that and much appreciated. But at the end of the day, yeah, I don't talk about these birthdays anymore. Well, I, knew, I don't you even, talked about the one that was your biggie. I mean, you know, although, like a milestone birthday. So I, do, I do tell my husband it's my birthday uh -huh. and what I want. <laughs> oh, there you go. I there made you that go. My son's having a birthday on coming up, and, and he's he's going to officially be a grown-up. Oh, is he's he? Gonna, he's turning 40. The big four. And, you know, I had him when I was six or seven. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, yeah. Uh, but I can't believe my baby boy's grown up. Okay. Okay, so how about you? You just running, me? running like a chicken You've been with my busy. head. Running like a chicken with my head cut off. I was like, where's Molly? Just doing all kinds of things. Kathy actually called one day. You and John aren't dead in that house, are yeah, you? Yeah, you aren't dead over I there. I said, are you smelling you? something? Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, why are you asking? It's like, I, I thought I better you. check out my neighbor. Oh, nothing my else. I'm just, and I teased. Um, I haven't accomplished anything. But I've got a lot of things going. I got. I know. But that's what I said. Here. It'll all come together all at once. From your mouth to yeah. God's ear. It'll all. All of a sudden, you have a million and one things done. Okay. So now, I'm gonna let you go first because you know me. I have a few things. You've got a few things. I have a couple things. Um, I'm so close, so close. And I swore I was. I didn't write them down. I was gonna remember two. Floss tubers I watched. Oh, one of them has the most comforting voice. It's just the most wonderfully soothing voice. Uh, I think she's got three to four videos out, but she's had you like know, forty thousand views or something. But uh, speaking of I YouTube, I want to say Apple, thank you to um, no, 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 no. Sarah's Stitchy Spot. Okay. She she, she um, she's the one where her husband sings the song. Oh, okay. For her. But she always has such kind words for us, and she's you know. Told us she's been with us since the beginning, so I know I've watched watch her um, comfort stitching. Watched her. Ah, that's who it is. Comfort is stitching. It? Comfort, comfort stitching. stitching. She has the best voice. Yeah, and she just talks. Antique needle workers. There, she's oh, always a, a stitch to watch with all the stuff she's her. got going on, and I love her decor and her um, just her decorations oh, and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So, and then Lenny. Yeah, and Roberta. I got Roberta. so tickled when I'm doing my work, listening to him doing mm -hmm. just playing in the kitchen or something. I'm listening. Also, I hear my name. Had to perk up because she was teasing about. I was talking about. The, yeah, she's Roberta she has that. the patience of Job. Yeah, to do that. She mentioned that <laughs> that frog, and I was. I just turned the thing over. Yeah. So she was making you know teasing yeah. about that, and then yeah, she said, "Well, let funny. me see what I turned over." Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> so in this video, she turned she something over. Funny. But I love those two ladies. Yeah, love them. But there's another new video, and I'm so sorry. A pair of them. Like no, it's a single young, well, she's married, but I'm just saying it's a single 
presenter okay. on Fox Chase. But she's a doll. I'm gonna. I'm. I'll link her below because she's in my history because I subscribed to her already and all. But brand new, and I just loved her. I mean, it was good. Great it's voice, just comforting, fun some, voice. Some new ones. Yeah, and all. So yeah. I want to show so, you. Yeah. Okay, I've got a few finishes that I'd showed you some finishes before, but they're now they're fully finished. Fully. Finally, fully finished. Okay, and I want to just step back. Those of you who want to say something about my shirt being pretty good, don't you like my shirt? I like your shirt. Well, thank you. So anyway, is this the one you wore to the? No, I, what happened is I went to Dillard's online. Uh -huh. I don't mm -hmm. know where part of the country you live in that are watching, but uh, Dillard's is a department, kind of a you know medium high end department store here. Uh, yeah, from Arkansas, really nice. but they've got you know in the southern tier they got all the stores. But they have a brand that I have fallen in love with. It's knit. It's lightweight. They do uh, gauzes and lightweight cotton. And it's embroidered. And it's embroidered it's like, like machine you know, embroidery. so it looked El Paso y to me. Mm -hmm. So Very I Southwest. have bought about five <laughs> shirts from them because I, I want to say it's Caressa or something is the brand. But anyway, Dillard's online. If you need a Fiesta I, shirt, I'm that they have same a bunch way. We're just talking about that. If I find one I like and uh, oh, like one bunch. pair of shoes you buy every single color. Mm -hmm. Kind of thing. Okay. So, Speaking okay. of that, the reason I brought up my shirt is this first one. If y'all remember, Kathy had given me a kit to, it was a, a leisure the, arts. Leisure mm -hmm. arts. And you know, I teased about that was the, that fabric. Mm -hmm. I have never, you know, I buy cheap Ada from Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatever. And it's coarse. I mean, it's stiff. This was, this was this weapon grade stiff. Well, yeah, weapon grade. You know, yeah, anyway, but look really how cute it came out. So it's I had bought this frame. This is, if you can, it's burlap in there and it's kind of recessed frame. Yeah. So this was my, um, I'm not a hot mess. I'm a spicy disaster. And doesn't it match my shirt? No, no, no. <laughs> so what you don't, this wall behind me is the needlepoint I've been doing. You know, but in front of me is my bright, cheery, happy wall. Is that where that's going? It's going up here. Okay. So I love it. So You can even it. tuck some things, chops these down here. Like but I'm not gonna. Okay. But I could. But you could. Okay. Yeah. It's going up there on the wall. It's going up there. Yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't it's see cute. it. You know, kind of thing. But anyway, thank you for the idea. Very cute. Okay. Um, I love it. Okay. And then another finish, fully finished that I did, which I love. And <clears throat> one of the things, like that, is it comfort stitching? We decided mm -hmm. was the name. One of the things she talked about is, you know, like a yoga master would talk about just the zen of stitching and all. And that's what I said a lot of days when I'm thinking I don't have time to stitch. But when I, I slow find down, any zen and I'm like, <laughs> when I slow down to <laughs> stitch, it's so comforting. And every yeah. once in a while, it's it's all stitching. You know, you're making X's. Right. But for some reason, some patterns are more fun to stitch than others. Yes. Why would that be? I don't know. But yeah. this one, this one turned out was just the beautiful. most comfort comforting thing. Very and I pretty. did see on. Um, Oh, good Lord, my memory is shot to pot. The little girl with the cute curly hair, she does the jingle ball. Oh, uh, um, Lindy Stitches. Lindy Stitches, yeah. Okay, um, it gets there eventually. Um, they've come out already with love. You know, they've done Faith, Hope, and Love or something. Yeah. Faith, something, and Love. I know. Anyway. Yeah. Are all three of them out now? Yeah. Okay. So that's what she was saying. But isn't that... That frame, is that the it. one you're telling me you No, I bought, yeah, I bought this from... Um, Probably Amazon. It's a perfect frame. It's a perfect frame. Perfect. So it I just fit really nice. It really did. Mm -hmm. And on the back, I can stand it up, but I'm going to be hanging it. So I love it. But this was, I just enjoyed this stitching. Are you going to do any of the others? No. No. Mm -hmm. Just this just this one? I just love this one. Yeah. And uh, I'm not a series kind of gal, probably, is what yeah. I found out. Yeah. Like even some of those patterns where I buy where they have three things on the pattern, you know, that you pick. I'm kind of a, I pick my favorite and do and that. And then you're done. Yeah. I don't go, eh, next thing. I, but I, I like to this. think I like the series. I like to buy all the series. Okay. And then. That's kind of it. I'm going to show y'all something. Don't hate me for this if you're not, you know, if y'all, there's a, some people have strong beliefs about things. And some people like Timu and some people don't. Mm -hmm. My, no hate mail. No hate. No hate comments about Timu. Um, don't buy from it if you don't want to, and if you do buy from it, you know there you are. You know you got some deals. And you know, you know everything you see in Hobby Lobby and Michaels came from those same people. I but so anyway, disappointed um, in Hobby Lobby and Michaels anyway lately. So, so the so. moral to the story is, for a, under two dollars, a buck twenty-seven, I think, or something, is a set of stickers you can buy with the DMC colors. 
So my whole attempt at trying to do stuff and list stuff and make stuff. And you know you can just write Fancy. on the back of your floss drop. Oh, yeah. But and I don't like peel, my writing. They peel off. They're just little stickers. Little peel and I have off. loved them. So for that price, I bought myself more than one set. Let's just word it that way. Yeah. A bunch. But anyway, so I have, if you're looking for easy to do labels, I won't say the colors are perfect, but they're pretty close. You know, they're pretty close yeah. to what the color is. Where's 321 on here? There's 321. Yep. You know, pretty close. So anyway, so if you're looking for an inexpensive option for little labels to put on things with numbers, there you go. And uh, I can't tell you how much, I think I paid $1.27 a pack or something. Mm -hmm. And all but that no mm -hmm. promises. But uh, anyway, okay, so those were my finishes and tips of the day or something. So do you want to go next? Sure. Um, so I have been accumulating some projects to go up north with, um, which is kind of around the corner for me. So I am anticipating finishing, thank God, finishing my Matilda this week and um, I'll get her frame. Like I said, the frame is already cut. I'll get her pinned. Um, and I said to Molly, maybe we can do one more floss tube because I'll bring it with it with the frame with her framed. But just so you all are aware, kind of a little history here, <clears throat> a little history lesson here. Um, this was Matilda Swallow and it was a Queen of May. This happens to be um, Queen of May, I think it was 2023. Is I reading that right? Oh, I lied, 2021. And I had, as I had said, some of you have heard this before, I had seen this sneak peek put out. And when I see a sneak peek, a lot of times, that's what usually has me interested in the pattern. So when I bought the pattern, you can see quite a difference in the color of the linen on the back, maybe some of the colors, but at the end of the day, I purchased eucalyptus from Victorian Rose Needleworks um, or Needle Arts. I bought a uh, 40 count, and I have been working on this probably for, I don't know, four months now, five months. Oh. And I am, because I finished Mary and Joseph, I finished the cranberry sampler those two samplers already, so I'm not doing too Time bad. is going fast, but yeah. I don't think it's been that long, Kathy. Um, I don't know. So this is, I am almost done. I've got the grass done. I tucked in my initials down here, over one. Not the pretty. grass done, I did the floral on the Matilda, part right here. I did that this morning. I've got one motif left. This which is a kind of a copycat over here. Um, the border, which won't be bad, because the border met up, yay. We all know what a triumph that is. Uh -huh. And then I have to do the satin all the way across up here. The satin started, I started it over here. And that goes over here, goes all the way across. But she's a big girl. She really is a big girl. Um, I'm really happy the way she's come out so far. I really, really, really want to wash her, but <clears throat> and I usually do wash all my all my stitchings. Um, but there's so much red on this one, red and pink, that I'm just fearful that we're going to have some bleeding that I'm going to be really, really disgusted with, and I'm not going to go that route. So, couple she's little, beautiful. Oh my god! Couple gosh. little things up here. Um, that were satin stitched. That were, oh, and I did the lambs. So I finished the lamb, each one of them. There's three. And then I took the whisper thread, if you can see it, and I stitched over everything that I had stitched so that the lambs have a little bit of fur on them. Kathy, that's so exquisitely it's, pretty. It's old. I mean, it's old looking. It's kind of what I go for. I'm not a real pink person. But I think the grass and that tone it down, and so that is my Matilda Swallow. Um, I had mentioned last time that I did make an Excel spreadsheet of all the colors that I used in Matilda, and Molly and I will put that up in that community tab. We haven't had a chance to do that yet, in the, along with the dilly bread recipe. But a couple people I know have asked about the um, colors for Matilda. Now, while the colors are there, I. 
I did not do a key for where I stitched any of my colors. So you're just gonna have, what I did is I used the picture. Um, so if you're looking to use those colors, you'll have to go by the picture. Um, and I took some liberties in a lot of different places just because, you know, I, I liked it better. It's so pretty. So Kathy, that's really That cool. is what I, that is a all, that is my um, whip. Ugh. I wish I had a finish, but next time I see you, hopefully I'll have a finish and a new start with some of the projects that I brought that I'm thinking of, which one do I want to start next? So I know Molly's got a boat load here. I don't have a boat load. Well, she's got I have a little canoe things. load, maybe. <clears throat> and then after a while, I'm going to talk about my haul. I want to talk about my W stand, the beautiful silver birch that's sitting behind me. I've got a new, from the Ukraine, a frame, and then the pieces that I want to take with me up north. So tight for all of that. But. Okay, Kathy, I'm... You, oh, are you looking for floss tube? I was looking oh. for that little girl. I, not that I wasn't her? hanging on every word you were oh, saying. Oh, did you find her? Yes. Okay, I'm going to turn her... I'm going to turn her on. Hey, girl, how you doing? It's uh, Craft D Stitches. Oh. And it, oh, it, she's got two out. Craft D Stitches. Isn't she a... She's a doll, and her voice is so... Uh, I just liked her. Craft she, D... Craft, the letter D, stitches. stitches. Nice. Okay, that's the little floss to us. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Oh, Lord. What you got? So, did you see me hauling out a big, ginormous shelf? No. So, the other day, I think it was Saturday. I don't know what day it was. Anyway, my husband, you know, we're still, for me, it's a birthday month. I, are, I have my husband I already bought I can't into that. Mr. Birthday. Same, I, have, same. I, have, I haven't bought into that. So he said, well, let's go get some breakfast. And I said, as long as we're over here, we always go to that Wex. Oh, uh huh. And I said, Hobby Lobby's right down the road. So I've been looking at a shelf. <laughs> About two miles. I know. But anyway, right, <laughs> right down, down the road. The road. Uh, I've been looking at a shelf. And initially, I thought, no, I'm going to be fine without a shelf. Well, then I started to clean really good, deep clean. And I thought, gosh, it'd be nice to get all this junk off the floor and in one place. And I bought a shelf. And I bought the biggest shelf that I could find. It's like six layers, oh, shelves uh -huh. high. And I have all my antique pieces on it. My sewing oh, machine. My, yeah. So and where did it go? Where'd you put it? So where I stitch uh -huh. in that corner uh -huh. on that wall. Oh, okay. So I Perfect. took the sampler down. I took the mirror down. Mm -hmm. I got rid of the other stool that I had there and I put it right there. Oh, so I, I bet that's It perfect. looks nice there. Uh -huh. And I don't have like a room I stitch in or a room. I have my sewing room, but I don't... You stitch in the den? Yeah, I stitch in the in the family room. In the family room. And that's where I have my this uh -huh. shelf. So I forgot that I did that because that took me like all day. And Kathy all also, day. one day when we were talking on the phone, she was talking about... And you know when you clean your kitchen cabinets, I'm going... Yes, my husband... See, I've been busy. I got yeah, one. I know about that. I, I hear women do that. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was, I've got to get to cleaning. I'm telling you, I have this. I, she was making me ashamed on the phone. Talking, and you know how you have to detail clean this? I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So everything on top of my cupboards, I have a, a, for those of you who saw, saw the tour of my house, but <coughs> kitty cats are around. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Um, everything off the top of the cupboard had to come down. Mm hmm. And I haven't been able to do it since I had my knee surgery. And by the way, the lady that had knee surgery, it does get better. I promise. Oh, yeah. It does get better. So anyway, got my husband to help me. So I stayed down in hot, soapy water, and he did the ladder and pulling it off. But I think for the first time, because I would always do it myself, mm -hmm. I said, there's all kinds of grease up there. I'm at I bet you there is. In, and mm -hmm. I said, you need to really get at that. I said, good hot, soapy water and some spray and... He's like, should we just lay paper towel down, maybe? <laughs> maybe really? underneath yeah. everything. Probably I'm so. like, yeah, you got the ladder. You're in charge of that. So yeah, we did do that too. Yeah. Okay, I did not forgot. About but that. I need to. I really do need to. I mean, at some point, I need to. Yeah. Okay, so back to the fun stuff. Yeah. Of not housekeeping. <laughs> and one of you made a cute comment about stitch. Don't do housekeeping. I oh, could not I agree felt so more. Good though. Oh. Look how pretty. See how what? Cute. Okay, I'm watching oh, her little video that's over there. Pretty. Isn't that cute? And she's just a doll. Her voice is so sweet. Craft D stitches. Jolly colors. Okay. Anyway, okay. this was something. It was the God Bless America, and it's from Erica Michaels. And it's the whole God Bless America land that I love, stand beside her and guide her. You know, the whole little song. But I had made a comment about, you know, I was going to pull a uh, Kim the Contented 
uh, oh, yeah, needle needle worker, worker mm -hmm. and just do part of it. And I had a couple of you, particularly one of you, make a comment about it. go for it, just do part of it. And I didn't even finish the part of it, but I'm this is where I'm cutting off. You're going to stop So there, what huh? I did, if you can see... Land that I love. There was this part, and then a whole bunch of words, and then this is at the very oh, bottom. Just tuck that I in. I just moved that up because I have a frame that if I put that there and do one little row of stitches, you know, just one little something across the bottom, it'll fit that frame, and I'm happy with that. And you know, I'm looking at the back of this pattern. Uh-huh. It was cut off there, too, and she put buttons. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. I like that too. Yeah, and I appreciate like she put buttons yeah, with the little inside. things on. Yeah, yeah. And I saw that, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It depends where it's gonna go and uh -huh. you know what I like kind the, of a I have, feel. I like the little stitching. Yeah. And I was tempted to put little red, like you can't see this, like not that matters, but in the little openings, I was tempted to put little red stitches, but I think I've said, nah, I don't want, I don't want, you know, I don't yeah. really want to call attention to the red. But anyway, so those of you who agreed that. Cut it off where you want to. That's what I did. And I love it. So that's one thing I've been working on. Yeah. Okay. You've, got, you've got something fallish. Well, and that's what, you know, I had thought for a minute about um, Christmas in July. I wasn't in the mood. Not yet. However, Kathy, John pulled a, his, my husband's car sits in the garage and doesn't, he never moves it or anything. And he won't sell the dang thing or go get a new one or anything. But he, that's his car, you know. Anyway. Um. We well, pulled it out the other day to go make sure, you know, take it for a spin. I almost got in the garage and pulled out the fall stuff. I'm oh, like, I'm ready for fall. It's, no. it's the end of July. I'm ready for fall. Everybody's right. I think the heat's just... Ugh. Look how far you've gotten in Okay. That. So, Bonnie was the sweetest woman. She sent Kathy and I a little... Uh, Oops. Some, a little, some little presents. A, and she sent me a die and some hoops. And I, by die, I mean poinsettia die. Beautiful. Yeah. Tim Holtz thing. It's gorgeous. But in there was a hoop. And it, I want to say she said she got it from Amazon. Is that my line? Yeah, okay. she said she found it. It's, it's it clips, and there's an old hoop that Kathy had mm -hmm. from somebody, manufacturer, that had this kind of, you know, thing. And um, I don't think they're around anymore. No. But these are on Amazon, several different sizes and all. Well, she was sweet enough, like, Bonnie, I love you. Um, I always stitch in hand. Happy as a lark doing it. Well... I don't mean to sound silly, but I stitched the house in the hoop, and look how much, I don't know if you can tell that, Kathy, but look how much prettier the stitches are. I think you get a, everybody's different, and you know, what they like to do, but for me, I think I get a better. It's a prettier stitch. It's a prettier stitch, and I think I get it. Um, now, a lot of times, nicer. when I look at some of my stitches, and please, God, forgive me for this, but when I look at some of my stitches, I think, ah, oh, it'll iron pretty. You know, because, you know, you look at them, you're like, oh, that'll iron pretty. And after you iron them and they kind of puff up a little bit, they yeah. look prettier. Yeah. And then every once in a while, this is part of saying, God, forgive me for it, I'll look at some people's pictures online, and while their stitches are pretty, they're not perfect. You know, I mean, there's a little, little variation or something. Mm -hmm. So I was patting myself on the back or allowing myself to not stitch as carefully as I should, because I'm stitching in hand, you know. But I have to tell you that stitching and hoop, Bonnie, that changed my life. Now, when you stitch in your hoop, do you still, do you poke then? Do you? I have to sometimes just okay. because of the way the thing is. some people let their lid But I actually just put my finger yeah, right there and use it. Yeah, loose enough. Yeah. It was, it was pretty tight. And the reason I'm saying it was pretty tight, and I can show you all my boobles from uh, oh, <laughs> poking myself. Out. But I had just enough to where I could push the fabric yeah, to where I could to still, push it up. you know. Get some yeah. speed going on. But this was the uh, Faith of the Heart from... Now, from are people Brenda having trouble Ray. finding this one? Yes, and what Why I... is that? I don't know. But I, I sent some of the messages because I got it from the Country Sampler. Yes. Okay, that's and I made a mistake saying. and said that was Brenda... Is that Brenda's it's website? Brenda Gervais. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was a store. I don't know. It's well, it's her store. Well, now I know. Yeah. Okay. It's Brenda Gervais' store. I did not know that. Yeah. But I know I bought it from the Country Sampler. And oh, wanted, it's a wait, store in some you're talking Wisconsin. About Spring Green. Spring okay, Green. Okay, so no, the Country Stitches is Brenda Gervais' store, her site. Now, if you go to her site, Country Stitches, she may have that pattern she available. Might. Mm -hmm. That is her online store, is Country Stitches. But I bought it from a store called Country, you, Country Sampler. Country Sampler up in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Okay. Yes. And because uh, 
when I bought this, I bought patterns from two or three different people yeah. that weren't British. But I would think she would still have this available on her site, which is Where, Country Stitches. Wherever I sent those the people who would comment, I put a link on there. When I went to that site, which I think was the Country Sampler, it was still available. Okay. So anyway, but the yeah. ball to the story is on on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a, a stitch along, and some of y'all are flying past me on this, flying past me, and I appreciate that. But uh, anyway, Faith of the Heart, love it. I did change, some of you made the comment too about your flowers. They're done in a soft white. I did mine in a soft, 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 soft pink. I like the way the color Almost works. Peachy, peachy it's a peachy looking. pink. Mm -hmm. And uh, it shows up just enough and all. But I can't wait to get on those words. And then on the other side of the house is just a mirror image of the bird. Of the bird yeah. You know, kind of thing. So I'm gonna be <clears> working <throat> on that and have yeah. fun. It's been two weeks since we, uh, Got together, so I been? did. I think so. Seems longer. It does to me. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, yeah, see, that's what I it know. Is. Okay. Anyway, so I've worked on that a little bit, and I work. I'm just so <laughs> close to God bless America. Okay. Can I keep going? Again? Yeah. No. Okay. No. No. Keep going, because I what I've okay. had are my projects. And then I had oh. whoop. There was my hoop. Ever after. Okay. Oh, she's doing. I know what that one is. I, I just cheese. okay. We're, we're distracted by that cute little cross stitch. Um. Okay. Mary Sampler. Whoop. Is this? is a sampler I got out of a magazine, a book, that's very old. I have posted the information before. I'll try to find it and repost it. But this is what it looked like. And I'm going to make up a story and tell you the threads that they used, I think it was this one, was a brand I've never heard of. Right Beldani? No. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. Anyway, so I just pulled colors from my thread conglomeration. So I just pulled colors, which I love, and um, started stitching, you know, just started stitching. And what had happened is one of the designers at the Spring Cross Stitch Market in Nashville had come out with a pattern that showed some berry baskets mm -hmm. and all in these kind of colors. And I'm like, oh, I want to buy that pattern, but I don't know. And then I just happened to open that oh. book that someone had gifted me. And there was this Mary Sampler, so I pulled it. But I put some stitches in it, and I love how it's the shaping up. Pretty. Aren't the colors pretty? It looks summery. Well, that's what I'm hoping. It yeah. looks pretty. And I dropped paper. some. Oh, my little paper oh. told me what it was. <coughs> but anyway, so that's some stitching I did. The last time y'all saw it, it was, this was finished, and one of these was finished, and one of these was not finished, and now they're both finished, yeah. and I've gotten all that done. So that's quite pretty. Quite a bit, yeah. It's, it's pretty. But I love the colors. I get yeah, the colors are like, beautiful. Okay. Anyway, they're just as pretty. They do as they look can very be. summery. Uh huh. Just fresh, mm -hmm. fresh and cool. No. Yep. You know, and you need that. Too. I'm gonna go back to Matilda. I know we're gonna put this on the community page, but if you want to screenshot this, this is Matilda's colors that I use. Oh, that's yeah. That's, and we'll go off. Yeah, so that's gonna. If they can get that off there, they get a prize. Yeah, they get a prize. Well, I've gotten stuff like that off of. If you want it bad enough. That's true. I guess. But we'll put it out there. I think if I send it uh, as a PDF, we can. Yeah, I can post it on that yeah. community tab. So okay, it's done. It's just okay. I have go. one thing left. It's related directly to stitch. No, that's that's not even true. I have one thing left I want to show that I worked on the last couple of weeks. Um, another sweet, 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 sweet viewer had gifted me, or did I buy? The, I don't remember. I, I'm lying to you if I tell you one way or the other. Better Homes and Garden, I think mm -hmm. I bought this magazine. Better Homes and Garden Cross Stitch and Country Crafts from August 92. I'm thinking I bought this because it took me a while to find it. Um, Penny's Daughter Stitches. Yeah. Is it Penny's Daughter Stitches yeah. or Stephanie's Daughter no, Stitches? No, I think it's Penny. Penny's Daughter Stitches. Had completed this pattern. I saw it, so then I went on the hunt for the magazine, which was hard to find. And I'll, but it, it was in, this is the front of the magazine, August 92. Cross stitch and country sample. Okay, this is the pattern, isn't that? And that's also in a book. And then come to find out it was in a, in a book. book. And that's what someone book. had gifted me the book. Yeah, and it was I in have there. The book. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, that's what happened. Anyway, so the last time y'all saw this, I just had the words up to the word done, and then I've gotten that far in the basket. And my goal is, within the next couple of days, I have got to get to putting some yellow in there. You need some sunflowers I've in there, I've got huh? to get some yellow in there. Yeah. 
But uh, I love the color of the fabric and the fact that this is so muted. It looks like it's been hidden under a dirt pile for in Granny's, you know, it's attic cool. or something for years and years and years. But uh, anyway, so that's something, Kathy. I've been having fun, and look how the colors are. Yeah. I just I can't wait to get to those yellows, you know. So plus you've got fabric we can dye. There you go. Yeah. But anyway, so that, that you can. Kathy, I've, had, I've just oh I love it. Now I'm saying I love it. The stitching up to here is not so confetti heavy. Right. But when you get to here, oh yeah, you got a little confetti. Ooh, that's a mess. now. Have you thought about using a variegated? That I'm I'm telling you, it's a. I mean, because okay. I'm telling you, it's a bunch of different like this right here. Yeah. I'm pointing, to, I'm pointing to this. I don't know if you can see, but that is a bunch of colors. Mm -hmm. you know? So it will be fun. But when I get to here, then it will be back to fun. But I, just, I love this. So, and I was, my goal, not to get melancholy here. Uh -oh. I started that, what, last year? Which you seems like literally like yesterday. That, oh, right. I know, but in my mind, it's like, how fast can a year go? I started well, that it yesterday, year, yeah. but it was last August. Your last it was that's scary to me. I okay. said to my son, I don't know how we got on the subject either about how fast time is going, and I said, Yeah, you know, you wake up and you think you have all this time in the world, and then next thing you know, it's the end of July. I know this is you know, and <clears throat> last July or something. Anyway, yeah. so my goal was I've got to get up to those sunflowers, and I really don't care if uh, you know, how fast I go on or how slow yeah. I go or something. I'd like to have it up, but I also want to stitch on it. I like stitching on things, you know. You know, I was I was talking to uh, Karen Karen Bug. She's got a a floss too, but she does a lot of solid uh, heaven and earth designs or yeah. a lot of confetti. Mm -hmm. And I I do have a couple patterns um, all kitted up. I have two that I really thought I'd want to do, and I just can't get past knowing I'd have to dedicate myself for probably two years. To and that while one. she said that, Kathy, look over there. Oh, yeah, she's got. Uh, you'd have to debt if you were working on it solely. You'd have to dedicate yourself for me. I would have to because she's a monogamous stitchers. And I just can't. There's so many other patterns and samplers that I want to stitch that. But don't I'm most like, uh, heaven and earth design type stitchers stitch on more than one thing? It seems that they do. Yeah, because I'd go bonkers if I was yeah. working, well, bonkers to start off with, but I'd go more bonkers if uh, um, I had to work on one thing. If you ever are bonkers. looking to do a Heaven and Earth design, Karen Bug, B-U-G-G, she actually um, kind of came up with the idea to stitch those on the diagonal. So, and I did find stitching on the diagonal on one of those heavy, heavy, solid-filled samplers or designs that stitching on the diagonal was more advantageous than the fact that you didn't see some people take a 10 by 10 square done 10 by 10 square done or they'll do one page done but you see the break you see the line where you start and stopped it's very defined where stitching on the diagonal all the way across gets you through multiple pages and it's not so distinct of and you know started and stopped. You had told us that before and I thought, mm -hmm. yeah. yes it is. Yeah. Even in DMC. Yeah. Not, I mean, forget you know, over dyes or something. Like yeah. my but even in DMC, I don't know if it's the way you're pulling it, the tension, whatever. Yeah. But it's like, ooh, you got to distinct. diagonal as much, yeah. you know, instead of just Calms stitching a square and then mm -hmm. start, start another so, um, straight line. Take it, a look at her, a take a look at some of her videos too. Um, uh -huh. Great stitches. She's right now working on, I think she called it Fred. It's a snowman uh, stocking that she's doing for one of her family members. And of course, it's full of confetti. It's absolutely beautiful. She also did that parlor, the two girls parlor and parlor stitching. Oh my God, that's one I have kitted up. It's just beautiful. But, <gasps> okay, now, y'all, not that I'm you know, like a kid in a candy store and distracted, you know. What is that over there, Kathy? What? That my, big old bag of. The, oh, that's my project to take up north. Wait till y'all see this. It's so. <clears throat> you want me to show it? Um, more than you could ever know. So I bought this pattern, cactus blooms, um, at my little quilting thing that I go to on Wednesdays. There's a couple of girls. There's a gal that's gonna Carla. 
that's going to show me how she does. She recommended Heat and Bond Light Sewable. And I'm going to cut my pieces out. So the, this is my fabric. And these are all the felts. So where did you get all those little felts? I, it came in a kit. Oh, it's not a kit. kit. Mm -hmm. that um, makes fabric and kits. But I didn't have... All of this was in a kit? This, no. the bottom part wasn't. This okay. heavy duty part wasn't. I, but the rest the was. The rest was. But I did not have any, um, so I like to do a blanket stitch when I do this kind of thing. And all of this is blanket stitched on, you can kind of see. So I actually went in my stash and I found out I have Veldani threads. I'm like, oh my God. Oh, that's right. Look at that, I have all these Valdani's. And then one of the gals on Stash and Load put these up for sale. Is that Valdani all, too? All Valdani. So I have plenty of threads to choose from. I'm gonna make it work um, for the colors that are needed to stitch this garden blooms. And this is by Marge Low Designs. I fell in love with that. Unfortunately, she did not any longer have this base fabric. Um, so what I did is I bought this fabric, and I'm going to do it on the plaid, um, and that's how this came about, my little tray was, I'm going to make, I had this tray made to go with this. So it was, uh, oh, I can get started on it, but I'm going to take this up north and make my little ditty bag. And Okay, you know I ask y'all for help sometimes. I need y'all to do me a favor, distract Kathy for a minute, because I need to hide these in my room. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Look how pretty. They're very cool. Don't tell her, okay? Yeah. So oh, they're my. just yummy. Yummy is the word. So that was on one of the stash unloads. Oh my god. Um, she wouldn't miss it if I took a couple oh, yeah. of blues and reds out. <laughs> she can keep all that reds Um, but so yeah, so that's one of the projects that I'm going to take up north, and then um, also on. So you're not doing the car. You're talking oh no, about, yeah, when okay. I because I yeah. You'll and then Kitten me. Stitcher, I think, had that $5 sale stuff. Uh -huh. I bought a set of this, uh, twill, dye twill, and the plain twill that I'm going to use with it. It came with this, but I wanted to incorporate these because mm -hmm. they match. Kathy, that's going to be so pretty. I know. Isn't that going to be cool? It's going to be very pretty. So I'll show you how I like that. And again, Garden Blooms by Marge Lowe. I could only get it online. You have to go to her website. Um. She is out of Australia. I it just says Marge Low Designs. You're gonna have to Google that and see what you can find. But so that is one of my tag along projects to go up north. So that's that. So if you spotted that out, huh, Mom? I'm telling you. I just those threads and stuff were just screaming at you. Screaming at me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So that. what was on top of it? Um. That was it. No, there was a wooden thing on top. Oh, I that I bought, and of course I don't have my phone. I went to the Etsy store. To, to the, the Etsy. Etsy. To the Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> to the Etsy store, and I picked up, you know, um, and unfortunately I don't have my phone in front of me, so I can't tell you the site. But if while you she's if you Google um, wood Mill Hill frame, it will take you to the Etsy store that I. Purchase this one. Wood There's mill a couple. Mm -hmm. okay. This I showed one like this previously. Um, this is magnetic. It does pull apart, holds everything. I think it's going to be perfect for the Mill Hill paper, which I think is, I always crunch my fabric up. That's why Matilda's kind of all curled on the sides. But um, did a nice job with the stain and the KB at the top. Came within I don't know less than two. this again was delivered. And why does that feel like there's a knot in, my in there? There probably is. Ugh. Probably okay. is. So yeah, my my new frame. So okay. that and I guess that's it for that. And then my other things that I'm going to take with me up north. Okay. What else? What what else? Let's see. Show sure. oh, this in here. Then I have. Um, is that the last of what you have besides the W stand? No. Oh, good. No, I've okay. got. Oh, thank God. I have my. So I also, you know, we had gotten these from Pack Quarter Shop. Uh huh. And I bought the two patterns. So I'm going to take this with me. It's going to be a quick stitch heart and stitch as on the back. So I'm going to do those. 
got everything kitted up, ready to go for that. And can you stitch in the car? Yeah. Oh, I can. Sorry. I think I'm going to take the bag apart, though. I think I'm going to open up the seam. Uh -huh. um, and then so, because I, to me, yeah. uh, I don't think I can. I don't yeah, think I can I'm, that I'm with you on that. Um, my R fill, I did pick my fabric out for my Adam and Eve pattern, but I thought I'd make a little basket, a Kimberbell basket, um, to put my threads in. So I haven't Aren't started those that. Three, it's so Aren't they pretty? Let me see if I can check. Yeah. Aren't those cut? And you know, I didn't Hold mention the R fill second. does come on a, here, I can take that one off. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of some of that ribbon. Yeah. yeah. Aren't those colors um, just does divine. come on a cute little wooden spool. Uh-huh. Did you notice that? I do. Yeah. So that'll be really pretty. So I, got her, I, mm. I did pull my linen for that. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. And then some of the projects I'm going to take up north. I brought with. So I showed this last time, and I think I did put the colors out there, but I'm going to take Modern Folk Embroidery with me. <coughs> So pretty. These again. were the colors that I pulled to do that, to fool around with that in. They set the attic when I was there last. These are the colors I'm gonna play with. And this oh, is this oh, is oh. linen by Cedar River. Where's the tape? Mm. I don't know what the tape. Let me hold the three for me. Yep. Oh here. But the lit, the colors are so pretty. I'm gonna change up the colors again. You guys all know I like to do that. Gosh darn, those are pretty. So I'm gonna take that with me. Oh, Kathy. And then I'm gonna take the ribbon thief with me. This was um, this was from Mrs. Flossie, and these are the colors for that. I thought I pulled linen for it, but I'm gonna have to double check to make sure. It's a pretty fall one. Um, that one. I wanted to do this Halloween one, All Hallows Eve, and I didn't pull colors yet for this one, but I like that. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm holding three and you're playing. Keep playing with my thread. Ugh. Kathy, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I like it's that too. It's a doll. And then, oh, this was that one oh, from that, she's the daughter of the somebody. Yeah. Of course, we're all daughters I love somebody, that. But I'm just Halloween saying, look. one of the designers, this is her daughter, and this was one of her first patterns. Yeah. Isn't it? That's a fabulous first out of the gate pattern. Yeah. Now, okay, I'm sorry I wasn't paying attention. What, are you, what fabric? Are I you didn't doing? pick it yet. Oh, okay. So and you cover the thread? No, not yet. I think I'll probably I'll probably pull because I know we're gonna go to the country stand for when we get up there. So I'll probably pick colors that are. A lot of times we have time. I can we might swing by that over at the Silver Needle and shop there. Okay, so when you're up there, I need you to just put your phone on <laughs> and walk around the store and let me go that 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 that. that. Um, so let me put this. There and then I picked up this pattern which I love. I don't have that one pulled either, as far as the, Let me, the fabric one. goes. Summer Sweets Pin Keep from Scattered Seed Sample. Mm -hmm. She might have said all that. I'm sorry, I was so distracted. I don't think with I said it. I, don't think I, I was so distracted with the thread, I wasn't paying attention. Isn't it sweet? It is Summer Sweets. Oh, like what that is one. that pretty thing on there? This thing down here, uh -huh. it's a pin, pin. cushion. I mm -hmm. Okay, just I, it's hard, it's hard to see. Can you see that pin cushion on that? That pretty silver, got a velvet strawberry on the top. Ooh, I like okay. that That's too. Pretty. And then I, I had showed this in the past to Emma Badman Wadford. This was an Erica Michaels from the show. This was another one though. Yeah. This one and that Halloween one, two yeah. of the ones that I'm saying, when I get ahead on something. And the fabric I picked up. out to do, this was, um, Miss Crescent Crown because I thought it looked, if you pulled up the back with it, it's very close to the original. That really is, yeah. Kathy. And then these were the colors. I pulled, when I was at the attic, I got all the colors for it. And I think that's going to be kind of a fall piece, too. So I took that one with me. 
Debbie, I did not mean to keep these out of wherever you have them. Oh, oh, I know. That goes to... Okay. Uh, I meant to the keep them, but I didn't mean to keep yeah. them out of her we'll, thing. We'll figure it out. Okay. We always end up figuring it out when we're done. So I have that. Can, what kind to, of thread is that? Um, is it silk is what it looks yeah, like? Yeah, this that? is oh. silk. It looks different. This is uh, Classic Color Works Belle Suave. And this is uh, Soul Sweet. What I was talking about is this. Yeah. You can just, it's yeah. so... Ooh. Yeah, the colors are yummy. And the feel is fabulous. But I'm kind of excited about that. So that and it's not a real big sampler. I gotta step back and not do such a ginormous okay, now sampler I just, this time. You have worked monogamously yep. on um that one Matilda. Yes. But you have seventeen things pulled to bring with you up north. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't know which one I'm gonna start there. Okay. Yeah. Until I know what one I'm gonna start. But you're not starting more than one? Probably not. You're killing me, Smalls. Probably not. But these are a lot smaller, too. I'm anticipating getting at least one or two of these done. Don't you think? Okay. I think so. I think so. So that's that. i got to find out what that that's is. That's some beautiful choices. <laughs> now, I do have a couple more. <laughs> Oops. Smash them all equally. I do have a couple more. So I also did not forget Froy Fest from the Wishing Thorn. And well, that, I can't even see that. I know, it's hard. That, because it's a, that one was a PDF. And then this was the fabric that I had picked. This was Ducksbury. I don't know if this will help or not, but you can tell it's a beautiful tone on tone. By Fox and Rabbit. And the threads that I'm going to use on her are exhaled from oh I lied Vicki Clayton how can you possibly decide what you're going to do I know do? but aren't that, isn't that pretty so that's all one color so that's that yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding how is she I how could to, you decide I have to decide it can't be big I don't want to do a big one cannot be big not ginormous I gotta, I, I gotta get away from a ginormous one. And then for giggles, I, you know, I made my little Halloween portfolio. I made this up north last year. Mm -hmm. um, I did put in, I tucked in a couple patterns in here just to have, just in case I wanted to get into the mood of. And do you need shopping for any of these? No. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, you don't need to. <gasps> so I have my Halloween fairy. That's the last one of the set that I have to do. Those were all my Mirabellas that I, because I, I did the Easter, I made one for 4th of July, I, you know, so I, that's the only one I have left is the Halloween, the trick or treat. Don't go, hold on, hold yeah. on. Hold on. Look oh yeah, the fabric. fabric is cool. Look at this fabric, if I hold it back. Oh my gosh, Kathy, hold on. And then, um, so she's not big. No. But she's, she's a big. lot of stitches. Uh huh. Look at the color. But I thought the colors would go nice on the fabric. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's, um, and oh. I know that's out of print, but I had, I had bought it when it wasn't out of print. And like I said, I've done all of them except for, except for the Halloween trick or treat. It was folded. Oh, I'm sorry. It was. Um, then I had thought about this one, Autumn, very Halloween-y looking, God. and that's by Samplers uh, Not Forgotten, I believe. Yep. Samplers Not mm -hmm. Forgotten. And you all remember, I stitched this guy last year, and it might have been the year before. I know my mom was in the hospital when I finished this one, and this was all um, oh, lady I and thread. That yeah, color. I do too. That was one of those she, we couldn't find. And you can find it. Every once in a while, there's a gal on eBay, and I think it, it's a truthful her. But then okay, she I'm also did the name. kind of the matching one of the one that's on the back side of it. Yeah. So I want to do that. Okay, now nobody died and made me a cross-stitch critic person, like, official. Kathy, this pattern, while I love the pattern 
What are you going to do to make it not quite so black and white? I, well, I think the linen, probably. Okay. After seeing that beautiful fairy linen and all yeah, these other things she's I think shown. The linen. This just looks like it needs a little something something to make it more. Yeah. A little more. I don't know how to work. And this one I picked up. Um, Stitch Works in Tulsa. I think I got this at uh, Silver Needle. I like that one. And so those are small. Those will be quickie, easy projects. I'm not going to show it. Well, I'll show it to you, but I know it's not available. Um, the Resting Eagle. The Witch in the Moon. Oh, my Isn't stars. I, I know people were having a hard time oh, finding her. Oh, my stars. So... Like I said, I got my Halloween stuff in here. If I feel like, you know, how, like it's fall up north in Wisconsin, then I can go right to that. <clears throat> so, that's it. This Happy, the how can you possibly decide? I don't know. Look, I'm looking, there's more stuff back there. I don't know what it is, but what is it? That's that Kimberbell pattern that just was in my packet. Okay. She's got some of the prettiest nope, stuff. I, I, I know a lot of y'all do. I'm just I'm in awe of all of y'all. I got it all showed. All showed? Yeah. She got it all showed? Yeah. Okay. Molly's turn. <sighs> I always feel bad after seeing all that she exquisite stuff. Okay, I have another technical question. The, you have a card on the floor. You know, I don't want you to lose that. Is that? Oh, that was for the fabric. Oh, okay. for one of the things that showed it, though, out of the fabric. Okay, this is something. A See, Mill Hill you kit got I got. Halloween going on. Okay, anyway, this was a Mill Hill kit I got. Anyway, anyway. And it's called Calavera. Like, you know, I'm in El Paso, so I think I got to catch up with all that kind of stuff. And that's cute. And see how big he looks right there? This is the piece of fabric that came in the kit. Oh, it's my hand. They have those wood frames for that size, too. That's what I was, how the hell are you talking yeah. about? How are you supposed to do that? Yeah. Do, you, do some people actually, those of you who are mill hill -E persons, do y'all actually just stitch on this, or do y'all put it in some, some people put it. Some people put it in a frame, like the frame I and just And some showed. people stitch just in some that. Some people stitch just like that, yeah. Okay. Just depends. Because this is the Waddle fabric, Waddle fabric, this is the Waddle thread that came with it. <laughs> and then there's a little Waddle beads. When did you get that? That's really cute. About two, whenever the first year we started, I just thought, oh, I had started. And it came in, had all these little bitty beads and this little bitty piece of fabric, and I was scared to death. But I think and this I year I'm going to start it. it. And if y'all don't ever see it again, I don't want to hear about it. I just chickened out completely. But I want to try to give it a, uh, I want to give it a go. Oh, but let me put the pattern back in. Hold on just a minute. It's amazing how messed up stuff gets. It is. It's amazing. Sometimes when Kathy leaves and she's taking all her stuff with her, and then I look down in my room and I'm like, oh my God, i got to put all this back together. I know. Okay, now, this was one that I saw on Jane and Julie, and who but me misses them. I'm I telling know. you, I miss those gals. But anyway, um, started this Memento oh, yeah, Lore Halloween one. thing, and I cannot wait to break it back out. This is how far I've gotten on him. Or her, him or her. I'm not sure. I think it's a him and bite her. bite out of that, too. Yeah, but it's not halfway. But you got a good bite out of it. Well. But that's what I'm... And it's a narrow little thing, you know. But I cannot wait to start back on him. Isn't he a doll? He is cute. There's a lot of open work, but I think if... This is DMC. You think I can wash it and it'll tighten up I kind of like the way that looks. Okay. Okay. I don't think anyway, I, don't I cannot think wait to sit back it. and get some stitching on that. Uh, the colors could not be any brighter and happier. Hold on. Hold, please. Hold, please. I'm trying to make sure I showed you everything that I, I don't think I don't have a bunch of Christmas in July. I, want, I mean, there's a thousand things I want to do. I haven't finished one. Look at the colors. Aren't oh, those fun? Oh, yeah. I, I just love it. So, I've um, got some happy, happy things. Kathy's got that beautiful prim, primitive stuff over there. And i got these ridiculously colorful, happy things. That's what makes us... Okay. That's what... We, Opposites attract. So they say. So the next, th I've got uh, a couple of Christmas yeah. things. I got a Santa. I got to finish. He's a big boy. He's about this big. Uh, I got to finish him. I got to finish "Into All a Good Night" by uh, the Housewives, Stitching Housewives. And That's there's a, a couple one. of pretty Christmas things. But I've, I want to start. Uh, what are you stitching? 
on that on. You're, is that a linen? I don't know. What does it say it is? It's, I don't think it's a linen, is it? It's not Ada. Picture this plus. But what is it? 28 count. 28 count. Did you know that you had that in there? Well, it was the call for fabric, so I bought it. Oh. You know how you hit click, buy all, uh, or something on well, some of those what? sites? Well, I did. Anyway. But, but that's so pretty. Well, the moral to the story is I have uh, two or three Christmas things I've got to finish this year. I've got to get the Hold beading done. I've got to get the beading done. That's, that's the call for fabric. Perfect color. Call for fabric. And uh, i got to get the beading done on my one Christmas pattern, you know, the bells. Thing. Yeah. Got to get the beading done. Kathy, I've tried to start the beading on a couple of it and the beads are going right through because that fabric is so loose. So loose. Mm. So I have two choices. I've got to try to shrink that thing. Oh, I know what you can or do. Or I'm going to put a gauze on the back of it. You know what? You can do a very featherweight interfacing. That's what I'm talking about. Iron-on interfacing. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. I don't know if I'll use iron-on. I don't know. I'll, I'll I, try something. I, I do iron-on on all my pillows and all my... Okay, because I've got to do I something that on. keeps yeah. the bead from falling through. Yeah. So, or I yeah. could just not bead it. I'm good with that. You know, oh, just call it a day. It would look pretty with the beads. It would look pretty with the beads. It's got a little snowflakes on it. Anyway, so the moral to the story is I've got to start the crit, boom, right out of my head. Blackbird Designs Christmas that's Spanish. Feliz. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Oh. How could I not remember that? Especially with your shirt on and everything. Well, I'm just saying Feliz Navidad. Hey. <laughs> uh, anyway, Jose. Um, <laughs> So, I've got to start that one. If I never finish it, I don't care. I've got to start it. It's a beautiful pattern, Blackbird design. But did, I need this. Yeah, that's really pretty. That was You've done really, it already? Uh, no, I have not. I haven't. But it's, and that's not a. But that's so, I got it. the fabric. And here are that's the three colors. That's not a really stitch either. The colors Well, that's what I'm thinking. Aren't the, the colors color just yummy fabric. to the tummy? And that's what, my mm -hmm. kitchen is bright and kid like you know cute kid like something but my christmas colors that i decorate with are these kind of colors yeah you know i mean pretty. just that woodsy now are you going to incorporate any breath. teal in here at all because i'm going to do like, it just like this just like that because mm -hmm. i know you like the teal and i don't know if you can see but it's got a big Very rusty pretty. bell yeah sitting at the top i got a big rusty bell Sounds waiting like on. a team more yeah but see like right here where you see all these you know my like every, it's I use dark greens, dark co you know yeah. coppers, dark reds, uh, browns. You know, just real pretty. You know, I love it. But um, I would have teal mixed in to my green green. You know, dark red. Yeah. Uh, teal, but I'm not going to put it in this pillow. But it's going to be probably sitting in. Yeah. Something that's got teal in it. But thanks for asking. You know. But and of course I'd make printing these little floss drops for myself. Made myself a little hooky dooky, whatever you call these things. Dangles, dingle dangles back when I was doing all that stuff. It's I love them. Anyway, so now, do you have anything else beside before we get to that last big show no, we're doing? I okay. I'll, oh, I know what I, I did. That's there was something sitting back there. I don't know what. What is that? So remember, my Matilda has the Temple of Fame. We talked about the verse. We were talking about oh, verses. Okay. Can I hold uh, her? Is she, or she's not where I can grab her? Huh? No, she's right here. Okay. So, so when she says the Temple of Fame, when he's going to call her out. Oh, I'm looking at the back of her, huh? The back's so pretty, I couldn't tell it was the back. <sighs> this is the temple? Yeah. Okay. Temple of Fame. Page 9, page 10, 12. Let's touch this. I don't know. 17. More than real naked people. So, if you remember, I told you if you're looking at the Temple of Fame, it's a story written by a gentleman by Mr. Pope. Um... The Temple of Fame, in that soft season when descending showers call forth the greens and awake the rising flowers, when opening buds salute the welcome day and earth relenting feels the genial ray. As balmy sheep had charmed my cares to rest and love itself was banished from my breast, what time the morn mysterious vision brings while pure slumbers spread their golden wings. A train of phantoms and wild order rose and joined this intellectual scene composed. It's very deep in, and what do you call that? What do you call that kind? Now a clear sun, the shining scene displays, the transient landscape now in cloud decays. O'er the wide prospect as I gazed around, sudden I heard a wild promiscuous sound. I mean, it's so deep in thought of, so this is it's, by this is by Mr. Pope, and it's a 
and prose, you know, kind of a point poetic prose yeah, thing there. Yeah. Okay. It's just so I pulled it off. I read through a okay. good chunk of it, but it's like, wow, this is this is pretty deep. One of the things that I kind of was charmed at was doesn't that I don't know what that is. What this is. So if you all know what that is, let us know. What? It's there's two of them. There's one here the and one there. Oh no. No, no, no. no, no, no. They no. look like do they look like little crab? I don't think they're crab. Shrimp? What do you think that is? They look like dancing ballerinas, but I know it's either some kind of a sea thing or a bug, of insect of some sort. So I didn't know what those were. And there was something else. Oh, this on his stick here. My husband said it's his feather and his cap, but I don't know. But these two things, see how here and here. I have no idea what those are. Isn't that weird? They almost look like scarabs to me. What's or a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly or a scarab almost. What's a scarab? You know, know it's it like a, a bug and one of the, they have that most beautiful iridescent green oh. wings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're Egyptian-y. What is that? It's a butterfly I don't know. thing. It looks... I, mean, I, I don't think it's just a flower. No, Wait, it's definitely it. a bug of some sort. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Doesn't it almost look like a scarab type thing? But anyway. Now I stitched uh, that twice because I had a red beer last night. It's not so. a locust, but it's got that kind of crusty look you know, like to a, it. Yeah, no, if you step on it, it'll crunch. But anyway, uh, but they're pretty. They're beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, it looked you know, like a mothish look. I don't know how to word them. Dancing. You know what they are? You know what they are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you know what they are, you know what they are. Okay. So. Um, so yeah. Kind of interesting. That is. What's that? Okay, so I went, I belong to, oh, somebody's calling me. Who the heck's calling me? I don't know. So now um, I The, um, I belong to a craft club. I belong to more than one. I mean, a bunch. But anyway, so one of them, a lady said, let's everybody bring some of our leftover craft supplies, meet at my house, and we'll switch. You know, you can, if you bring oh. three things, you can go home with three things. If you bring two things, you go home with two things. Whatever you bring, you, you can go home with that many. Of. So I waited till the very morning of, to of course. prepare. So I'm running around my craft room. I have mm -hmm. enough craft supplies. And the particular lady that hosted this loves card making kits. She is begging me all the time. She fussed up the other day for not having another card class. But anyway, so I'm thinking, well, let me grab some card kits. I'll grab some of this. I'll grab some. So I grabbed a few little things. I don't need to bring anything home. No. But I go. Well, one of the things that they had, Kathy, in front of you on the desk somewhere is a pattern I had to give. It was with the um, embossing folder, one of the little plastic embossing folders. Anyway, it was a pattern like you would cut out an angel or something out of different fabrics and piece it together and make a wall hanging or something. Well, anyway, the, the pattern was in the thing and none of the other print fabrics were in there, but this was the backing fabric. I didn't see So I picked, brought this home because I like it. I do too. It's like, how cute is that? Oh, it's, it's like just, a little towel. It's like a little towel is exactly what it is. You know, it's got the little thing where you hang it. Yeah. You know, and all that stuff. But so this was in there. So I thought, that's just a pretty, doesn't that look like a perfect little pillow backing, backing yeah. you know, fabric? So I brought that home. And then one of the things she had, I needed like a hole in my head, but it's a big old huge chunk of uh, fabric. And that's your color. And that's what I'm thinking. So, you know, all those project bags that I'm going to make at some point in my life or something? I don't know. But I'm talking it's a couple of yards. Hold on. I'm going to find out. Oh, yeah. It's two yards. Yeah. Two yards and something. Probably just about two yards. Anyway, uh, so, yay that. I don't know what I got rid of to get this, but people took up home <laughs> some stuff of mine. And then one of the things she had was she had a box full of tins. Like cookie tins, mm -hmm. tins you get with me by booze or something, you know, a bottle of mm -hmm. whiskey or something. Well, one of the tins she had in there, and, and women were picking out, you know, there was like 20 of us there, probably eight, 17, 15 of us there or something, anyway, a bunch around this kitchen thing. And so they're, you know, everybody's trying to act cool, like I don't want anything, but, you know, I want that. And, you know, oh, I don't need a thing, but I want that. Why is that? Well, there was a box full of these tins, and women were picking them up. One of the classes were going to be. We each have to teach a class if your project is voted on. Lois's project got voted on, and it's making a lamp out of a pretty tin. So I'm going to be on the hunt for a pretty whiskey tin or something. Oh. I don't mind buying a bottle of whiskey, you know. I mean, I'll, if to get a tin, I, I just assume do that. Then Christmas go try to, is coming a lot of times. Then go try to find gift. 
yeah. antique one and overpaid for it. But anyway, um, well, one of the tins she had in the box, I can't pass this up. I have to have it. It's from 1994, which is 30 years. I know. Seems like yesterday. 1994 wow. sounds like, well, that's that's not old. Yeah, and that's it's already. It's 30 years. But 30 years in my, ago. I'm not going to make a lamp out of it. But I'm just thinking, sitting in a little Christmas display, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And the thing is, I'll store some Christmas little, little in there. You know how you have, oh, there's something in there. Hold on, there may be a little treasure in here. Oh my gosh, it looks old. It's something from a hospital. Good Lord, don't. It's a patient list <laughs> from a hospital from Corpus Christi, Texas. I wonder if she knew that was in there. But anyway, but uh, so much you know, I just <laughs> think, isn't that a darling little thing? Yeah, it's cute. So, especially if you have crayons with it, old. Well, crayons. that's what that one of the ladies teaches. Yeah. And Molly has had to put your crayons in. I said, I don't have crayons, but I want this. Yeah. Too. But uh, it, I don't know why I picked that up, Kathy. Why did I pick that up? It was just. It's very cute? nostalgic looking. Well, that's what I said. I'm just going to sit it in among some yeah. of my Christmas. You know how you make a little thing of Christmas stuff? I'm yeah. just going to sit it in there. But I have a lot of little things that are like little trinkety things that yeah. I put out at Christmas. Well, that's going to be, I'll just store them in there and put it up with my Christmas stuff. So I was thrilled to turn some of my old, I don't know what I got rid of. You know? Well, there you go. You got rid of some stuff and came and back. And got this. Came back with some treasures. Well, I got, uh, I don't know. Mm, anyway, so what else has been cooking, Kathy? That's about yeah. it. Oh, yeah, except for my ginormous stand back here. Now, Kathy wants to go on and show you her W stand. So I'm going to get know. out of the way. Oh, my and stand. I, I do, when Kathy shows you the stand, the stand I do want to remind everybody. Uh, Kathy and I had talked about she's going to be out of pocket for a couple of minutes. Yeah. And I'll. And she's she has done some videos for W stands, and you can see them on the W stands right, site. Right. And site. we need to put a link in our. Have you done that yet in our I description? Don't think so. Okay, so you could go on there and see actually how these things work and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But uh, in addition to that, I have made myself a promise um, that I'm going to do some videos on other crafting right. things mm -hmm. and all while Kathy's out of pocket and I'm here by myself twiddling my thumbs <laughs> and all. So if you see me solo for a minute, now we yeah. are going to try to zoom. Yeah, we are going to try to zoom. While she's gone. And we'll try to um, link some of those. I, I don't know how YouTube and ours works, if you can duplicate the same same video on our Linen and Scraps and W Stands for instance. Uh, well, we can link it in, in our can, description. We can link it in, to, yeah, their video. to the video. So uh -huh. we'll, we'll have to fool around. It's with Kathy, it. but it's on their site. It's on, yeah. Uh -huh. So I have done a couple. Y'all know I own the, the beautiful oak. Um, which I love and you know everyone like I said we've said this before everybody needs to prioritize what they purchase for their stitching treasures and their needs and what have you but I did want to show you one of the things they asked me if I would tell you a little bit about this happens to be the silver birch which is behind me it's a sofa stand I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer because it does have some I need to get out of the way oh no no you're saying. fine um, comes packed in these beautiful boxes and W stands does have a lifetime warranty you just need to, what does it say, Molly? Just keep the box. Keep right? the box. So you want to uh -huh. make sure you, so this particular piece came in here, um, these two legs. Now I will tell you that initially I thought, oh my God, I have two lefts or I have two rights. <laughs> I'm going to call them. So I thought, I'm going to go drink my coffee and actually look at the directions that they give you. <laughs> and I did that and I'm like, oh, we're good. We're good. Um, so this is the sofa stand. I'm obviously not going to be sitting at a sofa here, but I just want to show you this really quick and how pretty this is. Um, same kind of mechanism. We've got, I'm going to set it up here at all. Same kind of mechanism as far as the uh, pressure and by the levers or levers, however you pronounce, you have the ability to scroll forward, go back. It does go all the way around. So if you wanted to do that, I'm not going to do that here because it's, I'm kind of limited for space, but same situation set up on the bottom lever. So if you are I'm on your not sofa, sure what you just show was on camera at all. Oh, I mean, okay. okay. But if you are sitting on your sofa, you do have the lever pressure available to, to actually adjust that to where you would need this to be. So you can kind of see how that would look if you were on a sofa stand like that. So, can, can I? This is a technical question for sofa stands in general. I've seen a lot of y'all uh, showing different stands and things. Yep. Not that I plan on getting one or anything. I couldn't couldn't get these anyway. But uh, the 
what do they do? Tuck under your pillow, or they just sit on your? This sofa just or sits what? next to you on your sofa. Okay. So your legs are between, and this sits next and, to you. And on the, the weight sofa. of this keeps it down. Yeah, I'm thinking keeps I'm it down. that thing over. No, no, because it goes back far enough. Okay. So, and you're working on it. The other thing I have that I did do a video on was the tensioners, um, and I will tell you that I've had this tensioned up now for over over a week, and it's still drum tight. So these do work really well. A little bit of a trick getting it into the window, if you will. These unscrew. It's two pieces. Um, and you fit this your fabric in, pull it, and then you lace your your elastics. Um, and you can obviously make this as tight as you want it, or if you need to loosen it up. So it's a beautiful piece. Um, I don't own this one. They sent this to me to try out to see if I did like it. I may be interested in it. Um, I'm going to actually try to get a project started on it, just one at my leisure. So we'll see how it goes. But again, it's made made beautifully. Um, like I said, W stands does have that life, lifetime warranty. You just need to keep the box. Mm -hmm. And um, any questions, they are always happy to answer. Great Christmas gift, I think, too. Um, they have some other pieces out there. Like I said, I've used my oak quite a bit. The oak is, and I did buy the swivel, mm -hmm. um, which I love. Mm -hmm. uh, there was that, you know, to me, mm -hmm. didn't it made more sense for me to have the swivel because I go to my back quite a bit. Mm -hmm. This as well, I can flip it, which I get to go to my back because I'm always. Mm -hmm. back and forth but so that's kind of it in a nutshell I'll um, be doing a separate video on that for W stands it does um, so the pensioners are called the canvas stitching stretching kit mm -hmm. again that's a great piece they are coming out with some additional accessories these are new but they're also having their bars and we just talked about if you like a pair of shoes you buy all five colors Oh, so mm -hmm. I like the fact that they are coming out with the accessories that go with their pieces mm -hmm. so they'll have some scroll bars along with the the um, the tensioners um, I kind of call them tension grabbers because that's what they do they kind of grab it through but mm -hmm. they're they're uh, they're good pieces well worth every penny in my estimation and like I said before you may not be for everybody you got to prioritize what you want mm -hmm. so it kind of comes down to what you want to okay. but I've had stands I've had five stands I know what stands are about so and that's I was like, some of y'all yeah. love stands and stuff. I've had the Sullivan yeah. stand. I've had the Katie's Creation. I've had the Littlefield, Littlefield stands. I've had, there's one other one I've got sitting up in there, and there's nothing that compares to this. Mm -hmm. So, big, big difference. Yeah, um, big difference. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So, all good. Yay. So, those of you who have helped us in the past by doing comments and sharing and liking and all, Appreciate it more yeah. than you know, more than you know. And then, like Kathy said, we're gonna try. I, I hate that I'm saying. Let me get back here. Uh, uh, we're gonna try to get one more video in. Yep, one before more before you head out, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of thing. And then uh, hopefully have Matilda all framed up and ready to go. I'm gonna try to get some more. I'm gonna try to actually finish some things. Yeah, you know, that would be wonderful if I could get some things finished off. So thank y'all so much for watching. Kathy, you got anything else? Nope. No, that's it. I think I showed off everything I brought. I and then we got to now. Left. I want to when Kathy and I moved, or when I moved the other way. If can y'all see down there? See, I'm pointing down there. I had told you about that sweet, sweet lady that was in one of the clubs, and her sister was moving, and she gifted me just a ton of stuff. Every all of that down there is gift cards and envelopes, blanks to make greeting cards with. So when I told y'all I had a couple of thousand, I'm not exaggerating. That is just boxes and boxes filled with uh, blank gift cards and greeting cards and all. That's so, nice. you know, I've got a lifetime supply now. Yeah. If I didn't have before. But anyway, so that's what that mess is. I don't normally have stuff under my desk, and I could not figure out where I put all that stuff. It looks pretty organized. Yeah, but uh, we'll be having a craft thing in the club or two. I hope I can use oh, yeah. it for a bunch of them. Anyway, I've rambled now. Okay, I feel funny sitting forward. Okay, y'all have fun. We, we just love you to death. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hope to see y'all again soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Oh, I one. keep trying to use the remote. Okay, bye. <laughs>